Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back. Today we're going to be having a little charity video. He's so confused as to who I'm talking about. What happened? <laughs> this is my English cream golden retriever. He's a almost two year old. I'm really sad about it, but he's an English cream, which is why he's a little creamy beige color and not like the typical golden color. Um, we just went out for a walk and we're about to go to our bed, to our crate in the room to go to sleep. So I wanted to show you guys some Charlie time before I put him in his bed. Um, and just to not clickbait you guys, he did get hurt and he is hurt. And I just currently made him worse. I think he's even bleeding now. Leave it. I don't know if you guys can see. I don't really want you guys to see it. It looks really bad. But I'll probably insert a close-up. Um, he's really sensitive about it. But he usually has this little like paw dermatitis problem. If I don't clean his paws properly. Which I try to never really do. I always clean his paws perfectly. But it's happened to me two times already. This is the second time. Where I missed something. And um, something's probably in there, like a dirt, something. He's irritated by it, starts to like lick it and bite it until it's completely raw. Um, and it's gotten completely raw. It wasn't this bad. And then he made it worse. I was coning him, but I took off his cone for like a day, literally for like an hour. And I, oh, oh you're a good boy. And I came back and he literally had it even worse, literally bleeding. And then now the outside, I wanted him to run around a little bit. It's been a week since he goes to the dog park, which is not very normal. He goes to the dog park pretty often. If you know anything about golden retrievers, they need playtime very often. <laughs> he's leaving the camera. Um, but yeah, so he's, it's bad. His energy level, like he's missing, he's literally missing it. And I took him out to play and I guess the sneaker and I tried to fix it. So I might've also squeezed his little hand. Um, and he came back a little bloody from being outside which made me feel even worse, so he definitely has to take a big ass break. Um, he's literally trying to escape to his bedroom. He literally wants to go to bed. So we're gonna take him to bed, and then we'll continue on speaking about Charlie. Right, buddy? Come on. Oh, you're too big for this. Say bye. We're gonna go to our crate, okay? Say bye. Say bye, guys. My mommy's gonna clean my paw. I have a bad paw. My name is Charlie. You ready to go? And now he's at the window. Let me show you guys. Okay, so I'm back. I'm gonna insert a picture of him in his crate. <laughs> he looks miserable with his cone on. Um, and the crate isn't dirty. I mean, it is dirty. It's super white. It's full of his freaking powder that I put on his paw. Which I'm going to show you guys right now. I think I left it in the bathroom. BRB. So this is a powder I use. It says Coat Defense K9 in Cats. Um, daily preventative powder for dogs. It's a dog deodorant. Dries damp. Dogs fast. Um, calms itch and irritation. And it's yeast free for paws, ears, and folds. This is what it is. And yeah. And they gave me a paw soak. The, that was basically the more important thing. The paw soak, I ordered it, it still hasn't come in, but that is vet prescribed and um, it's gonna come on Monday. Hopefully it comes sooner. I'm gonna answer a picture of that as well, but that's what I'm waiting for. Right now I've just been like soaking and cleaning it out with just water. I mean, the point is to keep it clean, to keep it, um, you know, not so dischargey and yeah, I mean, discharge is not a word, but you know what I mean. So, jumping into his things. My battery died, I just put another battery in. <gasps> I was supposed to take my vitamin. Fuck! <laughs> well, before I jump into his things, let's do a little playback on the last time you guys saw Charlie. Come on, my head. What? I have my first puppy. Come on, guess it, yeah. What's his name? His name is Charlie. He's a sweet boy already. He's really calm. He loves me. Come on, my 
Well, I hope you guys like that little playback of Puppy Charlie, but now we're jumping into Big Boy. And as you saw, he's huge. So I got him this big bowl. This is his little water bowl when he goes to the dog park and it's full of dog hair and etc. But this is his dog bowl. I also have a mini from when he was a puppy, but um, I don't really use it ever. Um, I don't have any more. I have like two left of these, but these are earth rated poop bags. This is what I use for him to pick up his poop, of course. Because you know you got to. Um, I wash. I did not have this in my first video with him. This is clutch in so many different ways. Like, he's gotten an eye infection before. And then, um, I think he was getting it again. And I told someone that I knew in the dog park. And she recommended this. This eye wash is bomb. It literally is a lifesaver. It it does what it's supposed to it basically says it relieves redness irritation and pink eye symptoms and it's safe for daily maintenance i don't use it every day but usually if you go to a dog park if it is every day then i use it every day um it doesn't really have an odor it just reminds me of literal like visine <laughs> like sometimes you need a little visine sometimes they need eye wash um, I have different paw waxes for him. This is the one I was using before. This is the one I usually use. This one and the Mushers brand. I'll insert those pictures if you can't see it here. Um, that's the ones I usually like to use for him. But um, he had ran out last minute of that one. He doesn't have a lot. So I had to get him this one. I don't like this brand. It's not my favorite. But it does the job. It's Max Paw. I don't know. Um, also, same thing with the wipes. I usually use earth rated wipes. Those are my favorite for him. Um, they have unscented and scented. I like the unscented. Uh, but he loves those and I use them pretty consistently. But same thing. I literally had to go to the pet store here and bought both of these things the same day. I had to get him a different brand in the wipes. But these are the um, earth bath hypoallergenic grooming wipes. Um, they're really big. They're good. I really don't like other brands like I have this this deodorizing pet spray I've had it for dumb long I don't even use it it's completely full but um because I hate the odor the papaya smells weird but and it goes away pretty fast this isn't even like a good spray but whatever the Tropiclean they always have that those wipes and those wipes are fucking terrible terrible um, I have a brush. This this is not the brush that I use for him, but I've been using it lately because I ordered another one on Amazon. I'm going to insert the cart I just ordered for him. It's basically a new brush because the brush I was using was this one. Oh my god, there's hair everywhere. It's so embarrassing. Um, but hey, that's what having a golden retriever is. This brush, but he his fur and from having it for so long, it was literally breaking. And then last time I used it, it popped off so I don't use it and I've just been using the one that I've had since I got him as a baby this is a medicine they prescribed me when he got neutered it's basically um they even gave me a little like thing because I have to give him a certain amount it says to give him 1.8 milliliters by mouth once every 24 hours for three days and to give it to him with food my baby was going through it, guys. But I got that as well. He, uh, he did get neutered. I didn't even mention that. So I literally said that when he got neutered, he got that. But he got neutered. I'm going to insert pictures of that experience, too. Um, that was traumatic. He already hated the vet, and he wasn't very comfortable with the vet. But he was, like, okay with getting things done to him. Um, when he got neutered, the process was just so scary. And the way that they went about it with him, instead of working him through it, they were kind of forcing him into things that, to this day, he doesn't really trust people doing things to him, like forcefully. Um, I have Every vet I go to now, I have to assist because um, he lets me do everything. I groom him myself. I bathe him. I brush him. I cut his nails. I clean his ears. I brush his teeth. Um, I'm going to show you guys all of that too, like his shampoo, his conditioner, his toothpaste, 
He uses a toothbrush like a human, but um, it's the soft ones. But yeah, I do it all myself. His nail clipper, where is the nail clipper? This bin has such a mess, but I have everything in here that I could possibly need for him. Um, this is his nail clipper. Like I said, I do it all myself and he lets me and he doesn't really care. So um, I don't really mind assisting and helping them. Um, the last time he went to the vet, he needed his um, shots, like renewed, because he was already a one-year-old. And um, he was pretty okay with all of it. The the liquid, like the Bortella, was like a, a mouth kind of liquid one. And I gave it to him myself. He didn't really fuss or fight. Um, the two shots weren't that bad. The first one was fine. The second one, he... You know a shot is fast. It's like... You know, so... The minute it went in, he like looked, and then as they were squeezing it, this is all in seconds too, the second shot. As they were squeezing it and I was like holding him, he like looked at them and was like, Ur. and I literally had to correct them, like, no, don't do that. Um, but right there they were like, and they were done. And then he kept pouncing around like a little bad boy. But um, he is really friendly. He's a really friendly, sweet, funny, lovable boy. He just doesn't like forceful things. Like, don't grab him by the collar. Don't forcefully sit him down. Don't grab his paw. Like, he's not going to bite you, but he'll warn you to not fuck with him. So, yeah. But not with me. He lets me do whatever. I can pick him up and I can do whatever to him and he won't care. Then, um, let me get his shampoo and conditioner. But this is his conditioning spray. I have the whole set. I have the shampoo, the conditioner, and then the conditioning spray. They're all oatmeal. It's supposed to be really good for like golden retrievers, fur, their coat and stuff. And, um, and it actually has really worked for him very well. It's also sensitive skin. So it's the John Paul pet. Let me put this back now that we don't need it anymore. But I'm going to go get that and show you guys. Before I go, actually, I also wanted to show you guys, I have like a folder. This is a folder that I have with all of his records. I have his rabies, vaccine, certificate, and I just, I love keeping these records. Like, I literally have every single record from the first time he's went to the vet. I have, um, like his little, it says, <laughs> um, the name of the place I got him, pups and stuff. So, <laughs> that's why I said that. Um, but yeah, it basically just says all of his information, and it's just so cute, it's so cute. They even have a picture of my baby when he was a baby, like before I got him. Stop, I'm about to cry. He's so cute, guys, look. I don't know if you can see that, but he was the cutest little thing, and he still is the most handsomest boy in the world. Um, but yeah, so I also have his record of his spay and neuter consent forms. Um, just everything. Everything, everything, everything I save in this folder so that I can always go back to it. I can always know what he has, but he doesn't. No vets can fuck with me and my dog. And yeah, it's good to have these and to save your dog's records. Ask for a copy. Um payments everything this is his shampoo and conditioner shampoo is already needing some shit is empty i'm gonna insert a photo this looks bad but um i don't want to give too much advice on the whole toothbrushing i mean the whole toothpaste brand thing um, the point is, just brush your dog's teeth with a dog toothpaste, um, and yeah. All of them have weird-ass reviews, so I don't really want to recommend any of them. They all have a bunch of bad reviews, literally every single brand, even the vet brand, like all of them. All of them have bad reviews on Amazon, but I, I personally have not had any problems with the one I just showed you guys. He loves it. He gets super excited to brush his teeth. But I've also been doing it since he was a puppy. I didn't really ever teach him that that was a bad thing. Um, everything that I've done with him, I've done since he was a baby. Um, I can literally show videos of him as a, as a puppy running around waiting to get his tooth brushed. This is his leash. Um, I didn't always have this leash, but this is his current leash. It has two straps. This, I hold him through here when he's walling. 
and then I hold him from here when I want him to be like looser. This is his poop bag and his poop bag holder. I have it hooked right onto this. Um, this is a flat collar I have for him. I don't really use this for anything anymore, but I did get it for him originally to go with his leash and to wear it. Um, but you know, because of trainers and etc., and his leash pulling and everything, I've gotten him. I've gotten him the prong leash. I mean the prong collar. I don't want to make too noise, too much noise with it because he's gonna be like, "What the fuck." Can you believe that? He'll literally be listening like, like he's crazy. But I have his tags on them and yeah. It looks like abuse, but it's really not. If you just train your dog properly, um, they're not gonna hurt themselves or, you know, like it, I don't think it's a bad thing. I think it's very useful. I've seen a lot of dogs in my area on YouTube. I've seen um, a lot of different trainers, Tom, Davis, I think I'm gonna insert his um, YouTube, but he's a really, really good trainer, like really good trainer, and just everything that I've learned with my dog and working with him, I think that that's the best thing for him, and it's really helped him out. And he has this toy bin. Let me bring it over. I don't want to make too much noise with it because he's obsessive over this freaking bin. But this bin has every toy known to man that he hasn't broken. This is his toy bin. He has a few already out as well, but this is where he keeps all of his toys. And the cutest thing, you gotta see him coming in here to look for it. Like he'll go in here, stick his little head, and like look for toys. And he picks out like specific toys that he wants. He's so funny. But um, I get a lot of questions about how it is having a golden retriever, what it's like. Um, just ugh, so many questions. And overall, it's, it's the worst thing in the world. Having a golden retriever is literally the worst. Um, if I could have never gotten him, I would have. Just never gotten him. And yeah, don't do it. No, I'm just kidding. He's amazing. He's my best friend. He loves me no matter what, and I love him no matter what. Um, he's like my child. Um, I love him. He's perfect. He's definitely a lot. I think having a dog overall is just a lot of work, especially when you, I guess, take care of them the way that I do or I would. Um, everyone has a different dynamic with their pet. Some people, for some people, it's less of a responsibility than it is for others. Overall, I think it is of responsibility you have an animal depending on you for everything for food for water to be taught for a game to be walked so for a toy so it, it isn't easy it isn't like a light job um, especially when it's again me like I'm genuinely always training him working with him teaching him things I take him to the dog park we have like dog meetups like I have thousands of videos that I can show you guys of him going to like meet up with like friends and going on, on a little dog date and like he he has his own life of his own and um making sure that he's healthy and happy and getting his exercise and all of that is a huge responsibility and yeah it's 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 a lot but it's it's worth it i mean he's my dream dog i've wanted him since i was like 10 since marley and me came out which is a horrible movie to want a dog from like you shouldn't want a dog after seeing that movie but i did i think bathing him is the worst part of having him because he's so heavy and like big he doesn't like jump out the shower or anything he'll sit there all depressed like a aspca like shelter dog he literally looks like i'm like boo there's dogs going through more like you know how courtney was like but, Kim, people, okay, are dying. people that are dying that's literally how i feel about charlie sometimes like boo there's dogs going through more so he's but he's a good boy he's the sweetest goodest boy in the world and yeah i'm blessed to have him i'm just really sad about his paw problem i'm mad that he has that problem but again you know you can't keep your dog from everything like things happen um but yeah the last time he had that problem was literally a year ago so i think i'm doing pretty good if you ask me <laughs> but I'm gonna have a two-year-old, guys. I'm gonna have a freaking two-year-old golden retriever. Can you believe this shit? I can't believe it. It's so, time goes by so fast. 
I feel like literally just yesterday I bought a puppy that was like this tiny and I would carry him like this like a baby and he would lay his little legs and I would pet him and he was all fluffy um, and he would jump and he couldn't even reach the couch and you as you saw he sits up here like a grown ass man and basically runs the shit this couch is full of hair because of him but what's mine is his he didn't really represent himself very well because he was tired but my dog is smart as fuck if I can insert a clip of just me showing you guys his tricks and stuff or I think I made a TikTok about it or like a, a short I'm gonna insert that so you guys can see that sit down but my dog is a fucking genius he knows so much like he's really smart um, people usually try to like shit on me like strangers and yes. people they're like why are you talking to your dog like that he's a human and i'm like boo he understands me <laughs> sorry if you teach your if you teach a dog or a child or anything anything they learn it if you do it consistently it's called consistency repetitiveness like it's called you know repetition not repetitiveness repetition it's called you know like teach your dog something babe so yeah, my dog understands full sentences, like, go to the couch, don't do that, sit down, go to your bed, where's your bed, go get your ball, go get me my shoe, leave the shoe, he understands, like, he's a very smart dog, and, yeah, I'm super blessed. Oh, I also bought, like, little mini cameras for him, I have one in the bedroom and one here, I'm gonna show you guys a picture of how his bedroom one looks when he's there, um, so yeah, that's his bedroom cam, that's... You know, but I have both cameras whenever I leave him either place. Um, so I've gotten that as well as he got older. But I think that's everything about Warley. If you guys have any other questions or want to know anything else. Oh my god, I think my light died. Did anyone notice when my light died? I don't... If you guys have any other questions about Charlie or want to know anything, just comment it down below or DM me. This is my Instagram. Um, anything is also in the description down below. So yeah, like, comment, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for the rest of my videos. If you look at my shorts, we've been consistent, babe. We've been very consistent. So go look at the shorts. Go stay in tune with everything. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. So this is the bed that I didn't show you guys. This is his bed. And that it's like his little jumpsuit jacket. And then I have a coat for him. He has this little section where his shoes are. He has a pair of backup shoes. Those are ugly shoes. But yeah, now that's everything.